Singapore has bought three types of vaccines, Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna and Sinovac. Both the Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna vaccines use what is described as messenger RNA technology. This involves injecting snippets of the COVID-19 genetic code into a patient. Put simply, it's a recipe to direct the production of a specific part of the virus, the spike protein, to trigger an immune response without actually exposing the patient to the virus. Both vaccines are said to have an efficacy rate of about 95%. China-made Sinovac vaccine, on the other hand, uses an inactivated COVID-19 virus to trigger an immune response when injected into a patient. But there is a lack of specific results on its efficacy. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine is already being used in Britain and the US. Moderna's vaccine only in the US. As of 7th January, Sinovac is yet to be used by any country. So the Sinovac vaccine from China hasn't been as widely used and as we just heard, there's no conclusive study on it yet. So Minister, why did we pick that as one of the vaccines to be used in Singapore? Well, you have to understand that we started this process very early on. As early as April, we convened an expert panel chaired by um, our head of civil service to look at how we can make early purchases of vaccines for Singapore. Uh, we have to make early bets in order for Singapore to be near the front of the queue for vaccines. And at that time, there is no clinical data available from, from any vaccine company in terms of full-fledged information. Only very early stage clinical information was available. From all the many vaccine candidates, they narrowed down to 35 and then they drilled down even more to look at safety, effectiveness, based on whatever preliminary data that was available then. And eventually they decided on the tree, uh, and that's a tree that we have made advanced purchases for, with the aim of building a diversified portfolio of vaccines that will be safe and effective for use in Singapore. And we have three now, but that's not the end of it. But which is safer? Injecting an inactivated virus or using the genetic code of the virus? I think we must understand that all the vaccines that are approved in Singapore are safe and efficacious. So we're not looking at is one, you know, in a way safer than the other and, and so on. Uh, but right now, the only vaccine that's available is the, uh, the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. At the same time, you will see that once additional vaccines come on board, there will be some vaccines that can be used in certain subpopulations. For example, the Pfizer vaccine uh, cannot be used in people who have severe allergic reaction. Uh, it cannot be used at this point in children below 16, in pregnant women, in severely immunocompromised individuals. Other vaccines might be able to be used in different populations. Okay. So we need to wait for more information. And it is which vaccine is more uh, sort of uh, applicable or relevant to that particular population if it's offered. Right. I think we would encourage people to get that vaccine.